Hey guys, today's video is another what not to do video. Adult supervision is required, suggested, and maybe necessary. But most of all, you gotta love marbles, because that's what this is all about. Romane or Lamane is a carbonated beverage, and it uh, basically has marble in it. And that's what we're going for today. Little history. This is uh, what they call a cod style bottle. And the bottle is holding the marble from going down. But the marble, when inserted in the top, holds the carbonation from shooting out. So it's a really unique bottle. And since it has a marble in it, I want to get it out. Here it says to ask an adult to open the bottle. Do not remove the mouthpiece or the marble from the bottle. Do not play with the bottle. Discard after consumption. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, so basically, don't break the bottle. Don't drink it after it's broken. You're going to open it correctly. And then we're going to do the marble removing properly. So this is another one. This is a peach flavor. But uh, Ramune is uh, a derivation or a derivation. Anyway, Ramune, Lamune sounds like lemonade. Well, the original drink was a lemon lime flavor and um, they were designed by a pharmacist in England in the 1800s. And uh, they thought it was going to be a preventive of cholera. So that's kind of interesting. But we're going to see how to get this open. Now I get these at my local Asian import market. This one is a company called Hata. We had Sangaria and this one here, Mizuno. Uh, other brands are available and you have lots and lots of choices of flavor. All right, let's get this open. Got a little plastic that just peels away to reveal the cap. And this here is our marble puncher. And just Separate that from the top, and what you can see here is the marble is just sitting right there. Now it's going to be in there really firm because of all the pressure that's built up inside. So what we're going to do is we're going to stick this bad boy right on top and then press really hard. And... There you go, it's open. Lots of carbonation. So now then, you see these two little dots? That's gonna keep that marble from falling back and plugging it up. So what we're gonna do is pour like this. There you have it. So this one's the watermelon. Taste it and tell us what you think. Okay. It tastes really good. You like it, huh? Yeah. All right. So let's see what happens if you drink it straight out of the bottle. Did the marble stop it? Yeah. It was hard to drink because it got stuck right in the hole, but a bit of the liquid came out into my mouth. <laughs> Only a little bit, though. So it's easier to pour it, huh? Yeah. All right. All right, now to get to the fun stuff. Um, these caps are pretty tight in here. I've got a bottle opener, and uh, let's see if... Well, that's not gonna work. It's not gonna work either anyway. What about a 
this little guy. That looks difficult. You see I'm wearing a glove too in case anything breaks. I don't think my hand will get jacked up. That's not a good idea. All right, what do you think? Maybe a screwdriver? You think that'll work? It's very tight in there. I wouldn't think so. Oh, see that? Glass bricks. That's what they don't want you to do. So while the what not to do stuff is fun, let's just really go into it. This here is a propane torch. And I got a feeling that if we melt the tip a little bit, we're gonna actually soften the plastic and it should remove a lot easier. I'd say that's warm enough. Now we'll try a screwdriver. Maybe from the inside. There we go. Success. Look at that. We got a marble. I definitely like the blowtorch method. That was easy. All right, here's our next choice. Something uh, less crazy than blowtorch. Everybody's probably got a hairdryer in their house. Let's try this out. So I ran the hairdryer on the hottest setting for about a minute. I sped it up just so you wouldn't be so bored. But uh, I think this is gonna work. Barely even warmed it. But let's see if it uh, warmed it enough. It did. So heating it up with the hairdryer softened the bond between the plastic and was able to loosen it up enough to get it out. And there we go. One more. Success. We got a little marble stand. All right, this is a scary looking tool and you know, you probably don't have this at home unless you're a plumber, but this is a ratcheting pipe cutter. It's used for cutting PVC pipe or ABS, and uh, I think it'll be really good because we can aim where it goes and then basically line it right up. And I think that we can just cut this and it's going to ratchet right through. And we're going to just rotate. I heard it hit glass. I want to adjust a little bit more. There we go. Look at that. We did break the glass on that, but gosh, that was an easy little trick. Good thing we were wearing our safety glasses and our glove. There we go. There's another marble. Wow, that could be super scary. This is a good reason why you have gloves and safety glasses on. 
Okay, you guys, this last one, this is the one we just drank. This is the uh, Hata. Well, it didn't have any warnings about, like, don't, like, try and get the marble. I mean, maybe it did. I just can't read any of those uh, hieroglyphics. But um, honestly, though, I had a really pleasant surprise. Do you see that on the top? One, two, three, four. Wait a second. That's a thread. It's a backwards thread. And look at this. This is the easiest one to get the marble out of. It just comes right out. It's threaded on top. How cool is that? We did a lot of work on all of these other ones here, but this one, the Hata brand is the easiest. So there we go. So there you have it, four bottles of Ramune and four shiny clear marbles. I'm pretty impressed. That was pretty easy. It wasn't that dangerous. I definitely think the heat idea is the way to go. You could probably use a lighter or a candle, um, but I think the hairdryer method and then just popping the cap out with a screwdriver is going to be your easiest, safest way to do this. Unless, of course, you buy Hata, which is awesome. Um, the screw top is definitely super easy. Anyway, if you guys like this, you like marbles, leave a comment in the description below. I'll have some links to uh, where to get some of these drinks if you want. If you can't find them at your local grocery. And uh, give us a like. Subscribe to the video for more. Cheers.